So good morning once again. I'm uh, from Emotis Claras Management Consultancy. I would like to present what is ISO 9001 2015 or Quality Management System. So what is ISO in our life? So ev ISO is everywhere. So sa ato ginagamit na sa ato mga gadgets, laptop, and consciously we are patronizing ISO. So to our cell phone that is their ISO certification. To our ergonomics in the office, furniture, sa so ato ginagamit no, ISO is everywhere. Spe um, to the food we eat, so kana ato mga paborito ng mga pagkaon, it's not the food that we are paying actually. It's also this customer service that they offer, which is, ang goal ni ISO 9001 is customer satisfaction. We also have even the bottles, plastic bottles, ato mga ginainom nga tubig, kana sa ato mga cola. So, there are certified, there are ISO certification for that particular products or services. And also, sa ato ang mga eye protections, sa ato ang mga helmets, uh, ginagamit sa ato ang mga workers. And also, to the safety standard of our family. So, na atay, um, toy um, standard, toy sa safety standard, na atay ginabuhat, na safety and protections of our kids, um, especially during travel, ang ilahang mga um, car seats. So, they are um, corresponding ISO certification for that as well. So, so, sa mga ligid sa ito, mga sakinan, so on and so forth, or uh, mga gamit na ito, mga wrist and pocket watch. So, ISO is everywhere and ISO is part of our daily lives. So, what is ISO, by the way? So, gayon ni Sir Ganihan, no? ISO is the International Organization for Standardization. So, muna ang ginasunod na to, an organization which develops and establishes or publishes international standards. The term itself, international, they are used widely worldwide, no, sa tibo kalibutan, especially the first world countries. So, nagsugod na siya, 1946, and headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland. So, currently, out of 161 countries registered in ISO, number 42 ato ang nasod ang Pilipinas, no? And out of 1.9 million organization worldwide, as of ISO survey 2019, only 45% or 800,000 ang ISO certified. And that 800,000 is only 4,000 lang ang certified sa organization. And I'm proud to say, MM, MM Company is one of that 4,162 certified in the Philippines. And we want the province of Bukidnon to be part of that list of um, certified in the uh, Philippines. So, the ISO developed more than 23,000 standard. Katong ipangingon na to, ganihan, no? These are part of the 23,000 23, standard, but the widely used standard in the world or the commonly used worldwide is our ISO 9001 or the quality management system because in everything we do, we want it to be quality. Ang cellphone na itong ginagamit, even the food we eat, siguro na mong pinalit maka itong dauton, hapit na ma-expire if you can have the quality food to, to purchase, to procure. We also have the ISO 45001, which is um, widely in the... Um, um, the ma uh, mandated by the government, especially the first world country, no, the occupational health and safety of our um, of our workers. So, muna siya ang ginapasabot. This, ang duha, ang isa, ang pinakagamit yun na standard sa tibuok kalibutan. To further uh, um, discuss, no, 9001 is a law numbering system. Once the ISO, uh, ISO firm ilan ang giusab, then it can be changed. But that is a law numbering system. When you say 9001, it talks about quality of service or your products, no? So 9001 2015, ano 2015, this is the fifth edition that was released last September 23, 2015. Unang gigol sa mga organization after that to have that certification because the old version of the standard, the ISO 9001 2008 is na phased out na kibali siya. So the transition sila sa bago na to nga standard. So, quality management system no, it is a requirement. So, kibali pa muna siya itong mahimong uh, balaod at or biblia na ito sa ito ang pagbuhat o management system. Um, listening a while ago, no, makita na ito na there are system and there, uh, there are system then atong ginatagaan o additional improvement. Kang giing aim ni ISO, first is customer satisfaction. Nga no mo balik mga sa usaka lugar kung dili ka, bisag lami ka na ang pagkawan sa usaka restaurant, but if you're not satisfied with the customer service, di na dito ka mo balik diha. Kawa ka giatiman, dugay gihatod mo mga order. So, una ginagi aim na to is customer satisfaction. And for us in the SP, sa guni ang palalawigan, we aim to satisfy our customer or the citizens of Bukidnon. 
Secondly, the compliance to legal applicable customer and mga customer requirements or legal requirements. So, ganihan nagisgut ta og mga balaod dili pwede kay basig may bypass na to ang mga balaod ni government. So, isa na na goal nato sa ISO. We want to inline our system with the standard of the government. So, unsay mga balaod sa gobyerno ato ginang isunod sa sistema ni ISO 9001. And lastly, continual improvement. Mo nagingon, padayon nga paglambo. That is our goal, di lang sa quality management system. But ang goal na to, sa ato ang lalawigan province sa bukid nun. Sa mga siya, atong aim. So to showcase with you, there are itong isgot ganyan ni Vice Cob, no? There are the following provinces and municipalities or LGUs in the Philippines which are ISO certified. We start with the Sursogon province. So, Sursogon Province, June 2019, nag-release si Governor Cheese Escudero o um, ISO-wide program to have all the municipalities to be ISO certified. So, as of current, there are eight municipalities that are ISO certified and the remaining seven out of the 15 municipalities are currently auditing or padulong na sila sa certification, no? And also, not just the, dili lang ang ilahang um, mga provinces or LGU, ila pong gi-require sa ilang province na na sila nine ka-provincial hospital na ISO certified. So muna ang goal ato ni um, Governor Cheese during until now. So giingon niya no kung nakaya namin sa Sursogon, yung gigiingon why not ngano di kaya sa uban LGUs or municipalities. We also have our own nagikan uh, kung asa nagkuan atong president no si President BPM. We have the uh, Locos Norte, the first fully ISO certified province una sila during the um, 2013, uh, 2013, una sila na uh, province na nag-certified sa 2008 version. And then, nag-transition sila sa 2015 version. So, gingo ni Governor Aimino, we are now uh, world class. So, uh, observing ang gingo na international standard of transparency. Mo atong goal to make our transactions transparent. We know the end result because we are transparent. So everything should be documented. Mo nang ginaingon niya. Predictability, accountability. So mo nang term ni under sa ISO 18091 or the guidelines in implementing ISO 9001 in local government. So isa po da siya sa guidelines to have to, to be followed. We also have the Ilocos Sur. So during that um, transition sila December 2017 and recently the city government of Davao under Mayor Baste bago lang sila October sila na certify no so to press forward to our vision to become a um, to become a customer center of excellence in citizen three. so ang citizen good ang goal nato which is our customer sa ato ang province and next is the city government of Tagum no, ang uh, um, um, to give you an idea, no, ang background ng um, city government Utagum, their certifying body is the same as our certifying body sa MM company, the Tuvsud PSV Philippines. So, giingon yun, no, highlight na to ang term common denominator. So, pari-parihan na. So, when you transact to uh, ISO certified organization, it's no brainer na pag mayon ka ISO certified pod me, magkasinabota. So, easier na ang inyong transaction o mas dali na ang inyong pagsabot-sabot kay pariha mo level of understanding with regards to the implementation of ISO 9001. We also have the La Union and also have um, city, um, I mean, uh, municipality of La Union to have the ISO certification. Also, the Mancada Tarlac, both for their executive and legislative office. And also, lastly, is the province of Pangasinan. So, those are during October 2017, sila nag-pro-certify. So, those are the um, sample of our provinces in the Philippines that are ISO certified. So, and currently, other uh, provinces is nag-hapon, nag-sugod na sila for the implementation of their ISO 9001. The scope of work to be done for this um, um, ISO implementation or ISO program is consultation and discussion to identify for, uh, areas for further improvement. And also work the reviews, checking of root cause analysis. Unsa maghihinungdan nga no di makita kung kinsa to mga unsa to kinsa nag-release sa mga document kinsa nag-approve sa document. So, isa na siya, corrective action and any advice on QMS planning. So, QMS or ISO 9001 since it is the most widely used um, standard worldwide, it is applicable in every organization. Bisag may kag private, government, gamay ra mang empleyado o daghan, it is applicable because it's 
fit siya to all organization because of it um, high level structures applicable siya parehara na sila nga standard with other ISO um, international standards and also the proposed activities and deliverables um, review of the context of the organization so unsa gid ang strength ang weaknesses and opportunities and threat na to diri sa province we need to identify that understanding the needs and expectation of interested parties so who are our interested parties and what how can they affect us on say requirement nila sa tuwa ug sa atong requirement para sa ilaha so those should be identified review of the existing process and process flow no sa citizens charter so, nasunod ba ang flow sa time frames sa atong paghatag sa ato ang mga deliverable sa mga customer or sa ato ang citizen and also provide awareness trainings and workshops so Requirement gina before we undergo certification or implementation of quality management system, everyone must understand what are those clauses. Kung sa ato apang balaod, Republic Act, section kani atong sundun. But for the standard, we call that ISO clauses na atong ma-fulfill para matawag tapuhon ng ISO certified. And la, uh, number four, we have walk through audits and pre-document checks so that magap analysis to check if the corresponding forms and procedure is li in line with the standard. So acceptable ba siya with regards to international standard? Um, conduct the internal, generate the internal audit program. So before you ensure that you are ready for external audit, ready na ka magpa-certify, so you need to check it internally. So muna ginatawag na internal audit. So muna siya conduct internal audit. Quality policy, quality objectives and plans. So unsa man na mga quality policy. So unsa itong policy para sa quality O kung sa ato mga objective, so kintahay diri sa ato ang um, sa naguni ang panaluwigan office, so dapat ba i-require na to, dapat everyone should have crafted or generated individual um, aut or author their own um, ordinance. So it up, as to, uh, up to us to identify those quality objectives sa ato mga target kibali. And also, we review the evidences of effectiveness of the planning sa ato mga evidence na makaingon ka na fulfill na nimo ang uh, requirements. And advice and updates on forms. So later on, natin sample form para mapakita ano kung ngano from that plain form ngano na consider siya na ISO accepted na mga form. And also recommendations for further improvement. Kaya pina isa sa pinaka aim nato sa nang ISO na ito sa one or tong three Cs is continual improvement. So di lang siya improvement, but continual improvement. So magpadayon siya na mag improve or maglambo. So to give you a background, this is a business process chart. This is how our construction industry works. So from the client, we have to go through our bidding process. And then when it is awarded, to go to our construction. Then the construction is done. So we have the project completion and delivery. So those uh, yellow boxes is what we call the core process or the income generating process. But those income generating process cannot work without our support process. No, wala si purchasing or si procurement, logistics, HR, so on and so forth. Now, before the project is given to our client, natin ginatawag na reviews and improvement. So, diya mo sunod si internal audit. So, unsa may atong dapat usabon? Sa may dapat na to improve? So, dagag accident. So, dapat na to na siya i-update ang ato ang mga uh, procedure. And then, those policies should be given to our business planning and then they create or they will craft additional um, more policies and procedure and then provide it to the client for further um, incorporating it to our um, clients pod na mga reports so this our uh, i'm talking no mon siya ang sample form so makita ang form rev 1 2015 and revision 2 on uh, 2020 five years gap from a very plain nga form and then, nahimu da yun siyang much detailed form in 2020. So why? Those changes and incurred during the course of internal and external audit. Kakakita ano sa mga auditors na to na kaninga form need to siya in line sa standards. So naka-highlight ang signatory, naka-stipulate gina siya diha on sa mga position. So naisgutan last time during sa visit na mo, um, we talk with uh, Vice na Ang example the signatory, it is a problem kay di nakabalaan kung kinsa, di na mabak siya, kinsa ang mga signatory sa mga documents, kinsa nag-receive sa documents. So sa iyo sa 9001, accountability and responsibility is not just like ni pirma ka, account, um, responsibilidad di mo na mo perma, but you are capable, able, and competent. So kabaw ka diha, ang ikaw gina na perma, then put your name and signature. What, and your position. So, importante kayo na siyang ang transmittals, ang submission of documents na agad siya black and white, who and who 
are the signatory. Kedi man na tumatag na tanan pirma sa mga tao, basing gi forge, whatever. So, those are the example of form. We have also have the procedure. And then, um, what are the benefits of quality management system? So, it helps you demonstrate the ability to consistently supply services that met the customer and applicable requirements and ensure your customers stay satisfied. So, balik balik you know, stay satisfied. So, una, improve productivity. Nga man. So, by implementing quality management system, you will have a common language to communicating quality issues and concern. No? It allows everyone involved in the process to understand what needs to be done. Kay naan naman tay sistema na sundon. Kinsa ragyod ang responsible person ani na mga activity. Munang pasabot niya, mas productive na ang tao kibali. So, gingon no, common, natay common language, na kay goal, unsa gini ang target. So, magtinabang nga ito, met that KPI, kay mahimo mo siyang performance indicator kibali na to. So, muna siyang ginapasabot. Secondly is the increase ang efficiency. Why? So, QMS increases the efficiency of every organization by helping you make decisions based on facts. No? When you know exactly how things should be done, so you can spend less time ensuring everything is correct and more time getting the job done. Kay mas efficient na kakikabaw na mag-account sa imong buhaton, di na ka masigulat ng instruction because you know what is in the procedure, what is in writing. So, mo ang pasabot ni um, second na to nga, uh, tawag ni second na itong uh, um, benefit. So, kay since you are efficient, sa so pasabot, dagan na tagmakator na transaction, mas madali imahuman ang mas, um, shorter time to fulfill uh, particular transaction or agenda. Reduce cost. Kung ma-implement ka QMS, so ma-reduce gid ang cost. Kaya nga no, kabaw naman ta, on sa sun sunod may tabo. Predictability mo to yung ginapasabot. And also, Better service delivery kay kangingon sa customer satisfaction. So, pag ka mag-implement ka quality management system, you treat your customer with respect and integrity. So, pasabot, you establish a code of conduct na gina-insure na to, no? Na atong mga, uh, mga customers makareceive sila superior service. Then, valued sila as individual. Munang natay ang uban nga buhat ta og customer survey. So, unsa'y panglantaw ninyo sa amo, ang sa mong need improve. So, mo nang naatay customer survey, which is part of our performance evaluation, if we are doing what we say you are doing. So, mo na siya. And then five, improve customer satisfaction. So, since you have, you deliver better service and then, so your, so your um, customer or our citizen will have this improved customer satisfaction that will enhance our reputation and then it will lower the risk of litigation. So, Mana siyang benefit. So, how does ISO 9001 work? So, versus the old standard 2008 and 2015, during the 2008 version, the QMS implementation starts from the bottom and padulong siya sa leader. So, it's like delegation lang. Which is, nakita sa atong ISO forum na it is not effective. Kaya pag interview, wa na balaan ang leader kung unsay na hitabo sa ISO implementation. It's like sa pagbuhat at tugbalaod, kabaw ta, kikita sa ito aman kibali ng gikan. So, muna na ang 2015. QMS implementation would start from the leader and then to our direct report. So, that's what we call leadership and commitment. Ang goal ginaanin no number one ni ISO is ang leadership. Balik-balikan ginaan nila during the course of auditing o nahang yung interview ng ato ang mga leader. So, the root of great leadership doesn't start with anyone else. It starts with us. It starts with you. So, mo ang pasabot ni ISO 9001. Magsugod git siya sa leader. And also, to, before I end no, this presentation, so quality is more than a promise. It's genuine performance. So, thank you so much, everyone, and get this. Thank you. Okay. That was very fast. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, any questions from the members? D did you understand the presentation? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, uh, from my end, see, uh, is M? Um, <clears throat> obviously, ang uh, the ultimate goal really is. Kung talawan nila is customer satisfaction. Yes, nice. Kung imo na i-translate sa politics, re-election. Diba? Re-election. So meaning, 
siguro on a on an administrative point of view mura og ang uh, quality management system will enable ang um, mga offices og mga divisions or kanang mga sections diri sa sangguni ang panalawigan at even the office of the vice governor mga staff namo nga uh, mas efficient ang ilang pagtrabaho yes vice that is isa sa tong benefit increase efficiency mas efficient mas dali so mas satisfied yun ang customer so magi na ang pinaka goal ni ISO 9001 okay now ang kwa lang ani is there are already sangguni ang panalawigan so have adapted no kini nga ISO nga certification so based sa inyo ang pagtuki no so inyong pagstudy ninyo unsa man lang nangahimo nga uh, advantage no sa ilang sangguni ang panlalawigan later na siguro ta mo anto dito kung wala bay sangguni ang panlalawigan member nga nga pilde no ang atoa lang ana is unsa man gyud ang uh, main nga uh, advantage to not from the kuan not from the administrative nga uh, aspect but more on sa kining mga members nga aspeto no sa kining lugar nga matawag nato nga kada kada board member na man sila mga distrito nga gipanghawiran no so unsa ang murag external nga effect ana sa kuan kung mag-adapt o kuan uh, uh, ISO your honor if i may answer. yes uh, based on our experience. Uh, better please introduce yourself again. Yeah, I, uh, I am uh, Sir, uh, Sir Gonesto. Yeah. Uh, good morning once again to the distinguished members of the board. Uh, one of the benefits or advantage uh, externally for uh, may it be the Sangguniang Panlalawigan or Panglungsod, uh, especially those uh, cities who are uh, ISO certified is the uh, one is the the process of which they are uh, in, say for example they from the legislative point of view they will be passing uh, or reviewing the ordinances and resolutions they have created a process para mas dali and uh, they set also uh, guidelines or well marashag internal rule or procedure on which kinsa lang yun tong filtered nga uh, guest that is relevant to the review of the ordinance. Second is the uh, performance uh, uh, evaluation of each of the any members of the Panglungsod or Panlalawigan uh, based on their uh, duties. Because uh, on their process, they are, uh, if I remember it correctly, dito, you are duty bound, although, uh, you know, we are elected by, by the people and for the people and for the, 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 the province. But ang byproduct, Ana, is also sa mga tao nga ugun sa imuhang gitrabaho diha, dili lang na para sa gitrabahuan. But it depends on the, the organization, the office, how you will uh, stipulate that on your uh, uh, procedure or sa process. That, uh, those were the two, uh, I can see the advantages basing on your uh, question, Your Honor, sa advantage sa external. So, uh, thank you. So, part of the process, part of the result, of this quad of this quality management system is that uh ma expose ko unsa bagyod ang uh, individually the members if they are really performing uh, yes sir nam na, nato gina, ginabutang a performance based nga evaluation uh, na po customer uh, evaluation or satisfactory na asad sila form or process that somebody will evaluate the 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 staff the key personnel sa sa isa ka office so it it's up to the 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 office or the organization or the workplace kung kinsa tong ma-appeal dito so, well personally sa kwalang lugar um i've been in this job for quite some time na 
uh, both in the legislative and in the executive, quality has always been the prime goal, no, primary goal. Um, ganahan ko ana ang kaninong gaignon nga mura o graduhan ta sa, sa citizens based on our work. Okay. Uh, there based are different the gauges, no, like engaged sa private sector labi na go offer kag service or product lay engage okay dali nimo ma kwa no uh, makita ato ka jalibi kumusta ang pagkaon kumusta ang serbisyo dali ba nato dad pero as to lugar sa satisfaction sa kwan no the, the best gains really is election yes sir diba? election but it's good na continually you are being assessed kung as a public servant may bang imong himo Binawan din. So when I was mayor, no, I was I exposed myself, no, nga open ko, nga graduhan ko kung okay ba or mayo nga kung ikwan. So that's why nga nalipay ko during one time sa DILG tungod kay uh, two LGUs qualified na ifan for customer satisfaction or client satisfaction index study. So manulo for teach and branding maranding uh, ano uh, in Sambuanga isa sa kwa sa Sambuanga now it was risky at first tungo kinikita na ko uy expose na ko ang kaglingon ng graduhan ko kung kumusta ang resulta sa kwa but then again uh, it was an independent body guild na nagconduct ng survey so I'm very happy nga medyo okay mapasar no pasado ang kwa ang uh, at least ang client satisfaction was at 94%. No? Which is very high. Which is very high. During that, that was 2018 to conduct na survey. So, you mean to say na through this, mawagay po na siya ang himuon po sa sangguni ang panlalawigan and Office of the Vice Governor? Nalaan niya po? Yes, uh, Vice Gov. Uh, I remember, it depends on the office how they set the parameters sa evaluation. Wala, wala may gihatag si ISO or the si International Organization for Standardization nga kani ang himuon but within the office uh, you yourselves will craft a parameters ug asa siya uh, because we don't know on sa ang uh, isa ka basis on how the the members of the board or the the, the, the members of the panglungsod or the councillors are performing especially during the, the uh, sa session ba na abay ibutang diri nga ning ani so uh, you will set a parameters how you will evaluate an individual or an employee or a key personnel staff for that matter na naasa isa ka organization okay now organizationally organizationally we ubay gina nga muang kwa na mo diri sa staff na mo no uh, we have staff na from different districts nag nagvary siya or apart from the regular ng mga staff or mga uh, employees sa sangguniang palalawigan and the office of the governor, a uh, vice governor, I mean, napod sa mga board members. No? Napod tayo mga uh, job orders, may mga casual, napod gani may, I don't know, wala pa tayo honorarium base dere, Marag wala pa tayo honorarium base, no? But it is an option na may honorarium base. If ever lugar na uh, we will engage your services, does that also mean unsa man ang ilahang mahimo nga role aning mga job order o mga mga terminos na mo nga mga mga staff how will they be processed uh, thank you uh, vice gov for the time being we also we all we all advise sa among mga kliyente nga for a start dito gyud ta sa magsugod sa regular nga performance base now if jos or honorarium or per dime or uh, can be uh, can have a performance based evaluation internally no depende sa kinsa tong uh, iyahang leader kinsa to iyahang uh, department heads uh, say for example uh, i'm one of the board member and one of my uh, mga staff na ko Pwede sa na ako na siya hatagan ng internal nga performance-based uh, evaluation. But the it, most important is the regulars. Kaya mo man na siya ito ang i-declare uh, nga manpower 
no pila ka bok imong imong manpower dito and the external body which is the certification body will just also based on sa regular but it is also encouraged that JOs or katong mga contractuals uh, con contract of uh, services are being also evaluated yeah ani man god um yeah nindot ni siya pamagi kay ma klaro na to kung ang atuang mga staff ga trabaho bag yun no na bagi klaro nila ng mga trabaho tungod kay what do like it or not uh, well i have to say they are political accommodations no uh, political accommodations but then again uh, one of the reasons nga isa pud ni kwan it is because it is the vice governor who will sign their appointments it is not the board members who will sign the appointments so actually it is my name pod ang nakabutang the FC for example na staff nga magbinulak bol dili ka trabaho og ayo di ba so it is not only reflect the sangguniang panalawigan at the office of the vice governor but it will also reflect the board member to which they are assigned so through this mas maayo siya tungod kay na klaro nga gitawag nila og kanaw sa Twitter niyo JD or job description job description na Nga basi na ngayon nga trabaho on dili na dapat nga siya dayon tayo magtrabaho. So, mas efficient ang inyong mga opisina tungod kay klaro ang responsibilidad sa kada usa. Na I have to admit nga even I myself, no I am still kuano ga kuan pa ko kung unsa ba kay maayo i assign ani mga tawhana tungod kay usahay maka-hire ta na wa na ta masayod ko unsa ba trabaho na ninya. But then again, considering that they are paid publicly, Diba? It would help. No? They are paid by the public, by public funds. Nga, at least man lang, no? gingon lagi na ako nga unta, kung klaro ang ilang mga descriptions sa ilang trabaho, rather than mag-Facebook, masigta lang o tulpo, no? or sa palang ipang-Google niya, or sa palang i-text-text niya, why not? Palawapon si Kapitan, Kap. <coughs> Pila kabuk yung mga top school yun niya, Kap or uh, kap pila ka bok yung imong wala trabaho diha di ba or mag research nga unsa pa ka ang mga maayo nga mga ordinansa or mga resolusyon nga ang ipasa nga para mas epektibo ang iyang committee ba ako tourism man ko di ba unsa kay mga maayo nga mga tourism ordinances or mga resolutions or mga programs nga pwede na to i-propose kang governor di ba so well that is the ultimate goal unta nga ang mga staff inala pud unta ang mga panglantaw no so, uh, mo bala, apil bala sa inyong pali no? sa inyong... Uh, yes, Vice, if I may, uh, those uh, plans nga dapat nunta himoon sa isa ka-individual is under the natay requirements nga objective targets and programs. And this is uh, duly monitored and measured during the external audit. So, kung unsa tong imong sa imong office, kung mag-set kag imong objectives, targets, o programs, or plans, that will hit uh, by quarter ba, six monthly ba, or annual. And uh, if I may advise to address katong about appointments, uh, in the discharge of our duty being the public servant, miskipag ang, well, uh, under the, I'm not really sure sa local government code, pero even if there's an appointment, but it's it belongs to an individual who has the the leadership niya under siya dito he can also uh, he can uh, approve the evaluation just to confirm the governor or whichever the managing director ba ang ceo o ang president ba sa kumpanya pwede lang siya mo confirm but since he was uh, appointed by some like like me uh, just allow me to into i was uh, appointed by the the then president uh, uh, Rodrigo Duterte being the uh, chairman of the board sa uh, Development Bank of the Philippines uh, Leasing Corporation but the chairman under Chairman Romulo because we are ISO uh, DBP Leasing is a uh, ISO 9000 and certified also I was appointed by the president but the evaluation is by the chairman of the DBP parent bank uh, the Honorable Chairman Alberto Romulo siya ang uh, 
pirma o ga-approve sa akong performance evaluation. Kana lang akong makuhaan. So, we have uh, under the uh, Governance Commission on GOCC, ipasa man na namo dito ang mong evaluation. O, and GCG is under the Office of the President. So, mo confirm lang ang presidente dito or kinsa man yang ex-officio dito si uh, the, uh, the budget secretary ba sa una mo lang na akong makita well uh, since we are also ISO certified under the uh, government uh, government financial institution uh, run by uh, the office of the president and under the the binds of laws of uh, BSP and COA okay thank you uh Question nako last question for now. Yes, sir. Okay, I will give the floor to the members of the August body. Why Montes Claros Management Consultancy Firm? It's because we deliver quality services and as our uh, core values, uh, meaningful relationships, uh, innovation, leadership, and uh, what's the... What's the engagement of people? Engagement of people. Yes, sir. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you.